Now let's add some breath fog to this scene. Again, I'll right click and add a particle system. And I want this to be tracked to my mouth. So we also need a face tracker. And there's a few ways to do this, but I'll kind of take the shortcut way. First, I'll rename this to mouth fog. And over in actions, I can position on face and I can choose nose just to start. And that builds all these rad patches down here. So we're grabbing the face, we're grabbing the face tracker, and we're not gonna use the nose, so I'll just delete this. Instead, we'll use the mouth. And we have upper lip center and lower lip center. So if we find the average between these two, it should be right in the center of the mouth hole. So to do this, if you remember math, if you add two values and divide by those values, you get the average. So I'll add that to that, and then we'll just divide by two. And then plug that into the 3D position of the mouth fog. And you can see that's mapping totally between my two lips there. And one thing to keep in mind is this is a vector three. There's three values here for the X, Y, and Z. But in this add, we just have it set to number. And it's a little confusing because it's only showing one number, but it's actually keeping in mind all three of these numbers. Same with this divide. If you're only set to number, it'll kind of interpret your inputs. But if I set this to say a vector two, I guess it still works, but it's probably ignoring that third value. Actually, it looks like it might still grab that third value. So I don't know, there's a little ambiguity here, but just keep in mind that if you see a single number, but you're putting in a vector three, it's still retaining all that in there. So now that we have the position, we can start playing around with the parameters of this. Again, for the spray angle, I'll remove this little variance here. And again, we wanna change this X because remember X is the left and right axis. So if we rotate it 90 degrees, it should be moving forward or backward. I don't know if it's negative or positive. Looks like negative 90. So now it's coming straight out of the mouth. And now if I open my mouth to the side, you can see it's kind of appearing, I mean, right between my lips, it's not inside my mouth. And because we're using this patch to set the position, we can't just move this back. So let's right click the face tracker and add a null. Call this mouth fog null, and then drop the mouth fog inside of it. And we'll set the position of the null instead of the particle system. So click the position little dot, and then plug in this value, and then we'll delete this mouth fog. And the mouth fog we wanna make sure is still zeroed out. But now if we change this Z value to a negative point, let's say zero two, it just moves back a little bit more. So now it feels like it's actually inside my mouth, not just between my lips. And this setup is nice because we can freely move the particle system, but it's still perfectly tracked to the mouth. So for the material of this, we basically wanna use the same material as this fog, but I'm gonna hit Control D to duplicate this because we do need to change some of the values. And nothing happened to this particle system because we have to apply it. So select the object, go to materials, and add that mouth fog. And for now, I'll just turn up this opacity quite a bit. So now I can see it coming together a little bit. Now let's go back in the object and adjust these parameters until we get a nice look to this. The birth rate will set by the mouth openness in a minute. The speed, maybe a little less random, let's say 20% randomness and maybe 0.1. Actually, let's keep it at 0.2 because we're gonna add some drag to this. In the force down here, let's add acceleration and you'll see negative numbers pull down and positive go up. So let's try 0.1. And it's hard to see because they die so quickly. So let's turn up the lifespan. Let's go five seconds. So now I can see as our breath is quite warm, you know, it's gonna rise as heat does. 
So that overall trajectory looks good, but it goes way too far forward. So that's where this drag comes in. Under linear, we'll just turn this up until that path kind of evens out and they slow down. I think we can go even a little higher. Let's try 0.75. Might even go higher. Let's try, let's try one. Okay, I think that's good for now. We might come back to this to adjust. Now under the scale, we want this to be almost the size of the mouth opening. Right now it's maybe like a third the size. So let's try 0.04. Okay, that's too big, 0.03. Now we have a lot of particles going on here. So let's go back to the material and start turning this opacity down. It's like around 15 might be a good amount. Now back in the object, let's set the birth rate and the particle scale with patches. So I just clicked these two dots, made these two patches here. And instead of using the mouth object, we're going to use mouth openness. And this just comes out of the face output of this face tracker. So we want to change it so the more your mouth is open, the larger the particles become and the more there are. So an easy way to do this is to take the openness and simply multiply it. And we'll do two separate ones, one for the birth rate and one for the scale. And right now we have a birth rate of 20. So I think we want the maximum to be around 20 or maybe 30. And this mouth openness goes from zero to one. I guess if you have a really big mouth. <laughs> so it looks like it went to about 0.8. So we need to make sure this number is a bit bigger than what we had the birth rate set to initially. So I'll try 30. And for the scale, I think actually instead of using a multiply, we can use a two range. And as you can see in this little tooltip, this maps a value from zero to one and changes it to a specified range. So we want the scale to go between maybe 0 0.02 and 0 0.03. Three, five, let's say. So now you can see, like, watch this value as I open my mouth. So it's going to stay between these two values as this output goes from zero to one. It appears this somehow got duplicated, so I just need to delete this extra one. Now we're back. That's looking pretty good. I think it goes up too quickly. So I'll reduce that acceleration. Now that's not bad, but I think adding a particle fade to this would be really nice. And to do that, we need to use a script. So I'll go into my assets and grab the particle fade script. And with it selected, we go up to edit. And that'll open your text editor of choice. And in the script, we just need to change the emitter name to mouth fog. And hit save. So now back in the scene, you can see these fade off nicely and they grow a little bit in scale. And that's because the size modifier is also adjusting size a little bit. So we can turn this up to 0.2, and that should increase the scale a little bit more drastically. Okay, that's looking nice, but it could be a little bit better. Back in the object, let's add some rotation to these particles. So in particle, we'll change the spin to, let's say 400 in the randomness, and change this tilt to 999, just so it's completely random. Okay, that's definitely too fast. Turn that spin down to 200. That's good, it adds just a little bit more movement within that shape. 
and in the force, we can turn some rotation drag on. So as, as it goes further away from your mouth, it kind of slows down both linearly and rotation wise. And you could call this good, but I'm going to keep tweaking it a little bit. I'm going to turn up the birth rate and we have that in the patches. So I'll click it just to focus it here. And I'll turn this from 30 to 50. I'm going to change the speed randomness to something higher. And that way, as these are emitted, they won't be so uniform. Yeah, now it looks like it's more of a stream, like I'm exhaling and there's some turbulence in the air. Might be a little high, I'll set to 60. Now that's looking pretty good. Now under the scale, right now they're all emitting at the same size between these two. So let's add some variation in this patch. Let's try 40% to start. There we go. That just breaks up, again, some of that uniformity that we were getting. Yeah, I think that's pretty nice. And of course, you can keep tweaking these, make it more dense or more subtle, but I'm liking where this is at, so I think I'll call it.